Now there's a movement brewing in Texas to get the state to secede from the U.S. There is even a petition underway on the White House website that has received more than 124,000 signatures since President Obama's re-election. So has the fiscal cliff helped their cause? Joining us now, Carrie Wise, the executive director of the Texas Nationalist Movement, the group that is pushing for secession. Great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell us why you think it's time for Texas to secede from the Union. Well, uh, I mean, there's, uh, uh, there's lots of reasons that uh, we believe Texas <coughs> should, uh, should uh, leave the Union. But uh, basically, it, it, it boils down to uh, political freedom that we have lost, cultural freedom that we have lost, and, uh, and certainly uh, uh, the economy that... Uh, You've been talking about uh, on your show for the last 45 minutes. Uh, there's 16 trillion uh, reasons right there, and with the new uh, negotiations that went on last weekend, we can add uh, another four point something uh, trillion to that. So we've got uh, just starting off. We've got 20 trillion reasons to try to protect uh, the economy and the people of Texas from what we believe is a is a certain coming disaster. So you folks see this as a serious effort underway, and you are getting lots of folks to sign these petitions. Uh, how do you characterize the movement in and of itself at this moment? Well, the movement, uh, actually, the Texas Nationalist Movement, uh, is, is actually over 16 years old now. So this is not something that's just happened in the, uh, in the recent past. We've been uh, working on this for a long time for all of those reasons I, I just laid out to you. What has happened through the years is that the organization has continued to grow, and with uh, uh, certainly with the election uh, in November, we saw a huge, huge spike in membership and, and also in activity of, of the people of Texas going and, and, and actually looking into um, the, 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 the history and the reasons for uh, taking a look at being independent again. For example, since November, we've had uh, over three million hits on our website. So the interest is there. People are frightened. People are scared. People are understanding that that we have a federal government that is just completely out of control. And we, we watched it last weekend uh, melt down on live TV. So. Okay, I have to stop there. Look. They're taking this guy seriously. Dude, he's a secessionist. These are the same people that called Democrats unpatriotic when we said during the Iraq war, well, hey, wait a second, this might not be a good idea to send our troops into harm's way because it looks like Saddam had nothing to do with the attacks on 9-11. And they said, oh my unpatriotic Democrats, you're unbelievable. These are the same guys that said that and they're casually conversing on Fox News like it's the most normal thing in the world with somebody who wants to secede from the Union. The name of his group is the Texas Nationalist Movement. And Crooks and Liars made a great point about this, man. They said, uh, there, could you imagine if MSNBC did the equivalent of this and, and what the outcry would be from the right wing? They say, look, uh, we have on a, a San Francisco nationalist movement leader now, and they want to secede from the Union and set up a, a communist utopia. They would lose their shit, man. Oh my God, Fox News would play it, would talk about it on a loop for like three weeks straight. But when on the right wing... They literally act what is the very definition of being unpatriotic. They talk about it like it's the most normal thing in the world. I didn't play the whole thing, but at the end of that interview, there's, it's like the most, they have like the most nice exchange in the world. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate you. You have a nice day. Oh, well, thank you. You too. We really, really appreciate your time. As if this is not uh, somebody who's a, a Looney Tune insane in the membrane. I looked up the definition of the word unpatriotic while that was going on, by the way. Showing lack of love for your country. Gee, I wonder if Carrie Wise, the Texas secessionist there, is unpatriotic. Hmm, this is a really hard one. The right wing are such hypocrites. It's amazing. They're such clowns. It's amazing. They allow people like this to have a platform and they tr treat them like they're, like they're serious adults 
when they're whiny little bitches who know nothing about government or economics, and they would come crying back to the U.S. if they actually were to secede for 17 minutes.